Here's an explanation of our new interactive word shifts. These, uh, these views into uh, how our measure goes up and down, our measure of happiness goes up and down, are a little complex, but they are in some ways the simplest thing we can do to, uh, to explore the change in word texture that gives rise to these changes. So absolutely crucial to do this. Uh, you know, why is Mother's Day a happier day according to our measure? Well, so we, we go to the, the, uh, the point we're interested in, click on it. Uh, again, we'll have in general these, for the time series, we'll have these links to major events. Mother's Day, of course, being an annual one, uh, varies as to where it is in the world, but in the US. Uh, so here we have Sunday, uh, May 11, 2014. So there are four ways that words can change in their frequency of usage. That's what's happening. People are using some words more, some words less, and that is changing why this, this day in particular is happier than the, the last uh, seven days. That's the comparison we're making to the previous seven days. So there are words here in yellow, these are with the yellow bars, these are clear yellow. These are words that are being used more and that are relatively positive. So unsurprisingly, there's happy and mothers and mum and mothers. So there are all these different versions here. This, but there's other things start to move away. Kids is mentioned. Um, there's some sports floating around here, fans and United. Uh, mommy and mama, you can scroll up through these pieces. Right, celebrate, grandma is mentioned down here, so flowers. So these are all positive uh, pieces. So these, these are helping this day uh, appear happier by our measure. There are negative words that are being used less. So that's what this is saying. And this little sigma here tells you it's the sum of negative words that have dropped. Right, so there's a minus sign and down. So that means that they've dropped. There's a plus sign and an, an up arrow. These are the positive words that are being used more. These are the negative words being used less. So that's nice that people aren't swearing as much on Mother's Day. Uh, there are some other pieces in here. Wars is being mentioned less um, and so on. So again, you can scroll down and have a look at some of these pieces. And the main contributors are up the top. They're, they're actually just fundamentally negative. So don't and no and not. Uh, they're just basic negative words. And then there's some swearing as well. All right. There are some words going the other way. And it will depend on the context of the year. So these words are being used less. They're, they are good positive words. They're just being used less on this day, this Sunday, compared to the previous seven days. So like and good and new and L LOL. So these, ha, 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 very important Twitter word, actually. These words are being used less. There are some negative words that are being used more. So last, didn't, without, drop, tornado. These are, rip is probably RIP. So these words are being used more for you know whatever reason around that particular time. You can go back to the view of uh, all of the uh, words being ordered by the, 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 the magnitude of their change that they contribute. So these positive words being used more are the most significant ones. And then there are a few negative ones that are being used less that help. Everything on this side is making Mother's Day a more positive one. Everything on this side is making it kind of going against the grain. But you can see overall, the trend is to have many more words on this side. And everything adds up to give you this gray bar. You can also reset it using this image here. So a couple of uh, this link here. So a couple of pieces with these word shifts, you can now move to any place you want using the little calendar search here. And you can move to the next day. And it has a nice little way it jumps around. Um, so uh, one other piece as well is when you are viewing this, for, this is important, when you're viewing our word shifts, you can copy this or uh, click on one of the share buttons down here. And this view, this word, word shift popped up like this will be um, something you can send to uh, uh, someone else uh, through email or you can tweet it and so on. All right, so let's go to a, a negative event just by comparison to the death of Robin Williams, recent. And it's a very sad event. So we, we lowercase everything, so that's why uh, RIP, which would normally be capital RIP, all capital letters, uh, is at the top, the sad and suicide, dead, depression. So these are, these are terrible, you know, th these are all very bad words. Lost and missed are there as well. Uh, if you want to look at just the negative words, that will pop up. So there's mourning, condolences, uh, demons is in there. 
On the other side, you will see words associated with Robin Williams. I mean, he, this was a very dominant story uh, at the time. Thank and peace and laugh and laughter. Comedy is in there. Genius. These are all positive words being mentioned about him. Now, they, they help. They, they, would, they make this day have a little bit more positive feel, but the preponderance is towards a negative uh, drop. So these are negative words being used more often, positive words being used more often. And then we have these slightly more complicated ones. So these are negative words that were being used less. So people were swearing a little less. If you look through here, there's you know, simply the word without is being used less as well. Uh, less no and less don't. And there are some positive words that were being used less, and that didn't help either. So there was less like and love and me and you and ha-ha and birthday. These all dropped, and that these two uh, bars here are contributing to the 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 relative to the decrease in happiness uh, on the day that Robin Williams um, died relative to the seven days beforehand. Um, once again, you can uh, reconstitute the whole view. If you want, you can look at uh, just one of these and then move forward, for example. So these, this is the next day. People are still talking about it quite strongly. Uh, and in fact, this day blended into a ser uh, quite a, a number of days where our instrument showed um, a lot of negativity, and it was uh, the uh, protests in, in Ferguson, Missouri, over the death of uh, Michael Brown. So, there's so you'll see why just using a word, our word um, analysis can have some problems. So, there's tear. For, it looks like tear it was probably evaluated in that way, but it's part of tear gas. But then you get the texture, uh, shooting and cruel and arrested and problems and cheat and so. On. So there are some. There's there's enough negativity in here to to capture that that day. So that's it for our word shifts. They are uh, certainly complex uh, things to look at, but it really is the difference between you know, speculating about what may have driven a, a sentiment score up or down and, and really being able to understand it and, uh, and decide if it's, it's you know, worthwhile or not. So we invite you to play around with these and um, share particular views uh, with each other, and uh, we, we, we hope this is, uh, yeah, very useful.